when you see family and friends, those who are in the congregation and those who are on what we call cyberspace. Won't you stand, please? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 100 says, Make a joyful Lord, jo make a joyful shout to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endure to all generations. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Anybody know that the Lord is good this morning? Why don't you give him some praise? His mercy is his truth endures to all generations. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve him with gladness. Anybody glad this morning? Are you glad to be able to come to his house one more time? Are you glad that you survived this COVID thing? Are you glad, hallelujah, that God kept you through this 
Nobody 
It says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Mm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes. Wherefore, take you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in an evil day, and having done all to stand. Yes. Stand therefore, mm. yes. having your lines girt about with truth, yes, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yes. Above all, taking the shield of faith, mm. wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery dots of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Yes. Pray with all prayer, with supplication in the spirit and watching therefore with all perseverance and supplication to all saints. I want to, as the Lord has given me, focus on the 17th verse and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. And, excuse me, while I get it together because I had the box. Thank you. And his presence. First of all, I can't go any further but to tell you a testimony. In 2015, I had a light stroke. And I've been battling and getting better. And two weeks ago, I think it was, I was just messing around, cleaning and things. And I went and I touched the cabinet to get something from it. And when I put my hand forward, I heard the Lord speak to me. He says, no matter what happens, mm. no matter what it looks like, no matter what it seems like, don't pay any attention to anything right. but me. No. Right. He said, this day I that I am God. Amen. And I said, Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I walked. <laughs> and I went <laughs> into my bedroom and I said, God, what, are you, what, 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 what what's that about? And my heart stopped beating fast and faster and faster. And I said, okay, Lord, I'm getting upset. I said, okay, calm down. And when I went, and I couldn't even, I didn't even know why I went in the room. And I turned around. And when I turned, I felt as if I were going to pass out. Oh my God. I said, God, you didn't tell me it was going to be me. <laughs> I said, what's going on here? Help me, Lord, please. What? Okay, you said, no matter what. <laughs> You're going to prove that you are God. That's right. And I, I managed to walk in the hallway. And I was headed toward the door because Sam was in New York. And I went outside because I take my medicine. 
at 9 o'clock, and it was now 11.30. So I went on the porch, and I leaned on the grill because I couldn't stand up. And Sam said, what's wrong? I said, get my medicine bag out of the car. He said, what? just get my bag. I said, first give me my aspirin. That's the first thing I want. And then I took my pressure pill. And by then, Sam was on me and holding me. He said, get off of the grill. I said, if you turn me up loose, mm. you're going to pick me up off the porch. Mm. And he said, what's wrong? I said, I don't know. Is it your head? He thought I was having a heart attack. I just did not feel good. And by then we let the aspirin just take effect. And we meant to go down the step. I said, let me walk around the yard. Let me breathe some fresh air. And we walked for a while. And I felt better. And I said, I feel better. Let me go in the house. Maybe the medicine is taking its place. And before I could get to the steps, it was back on me again. Mm. And I can only sit down on the step. And I remember saying, I shall live and I shall not die. Amen. Because you said, oh God, that you're going to prove today that you are God. And I started speaking and I spoke the word of God. Everything that I could have pulled out, I brought it out. What happened to you? I said, I felt like I was going to pass 
I was not dizzy, but I came off balance. He said, what caused this? I said, nothing. <laughs> I know it was God because I Amen. had been scared by him. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I'm telling you, ever since I left that doctor, he didn't give me no medicine. He didn't give me any while I was there. He did not change the medicine that I am on. And I'm only on five milligrams of blood pressure medicine. He didn't do anything. He just told me, I don't know what those episodes was you had, but I know you had them because you said you did. He gave me a prescription for everything I had. Then I noticed that I went home and I was doing things and my arm was just moving. <laughs> Was moving and I was and I was walking. Sometimes I walk and I have to pick my feet up and it was all gone. Amen. I didn't say anything to anyone. Amen. It was all gone. Human life. 
light that sends signal to the body. In battle, you use weapons to protect your body. And I want to guarantee you, the first thing when you, when somebody's shooting or throwing, the first thing we do is cover the head. Okay. Amen. All right, Amen. Amen. All right, you can have right. the rest of my body but my head. I got to shoot. <laughs>
get up there and be chilly real with the world. <laughs> Yes, man. The Lord God has a plan. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, he did. He told Jeremiah, I know the plan that I have in my yeah. life. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. To give unto you. Yes, sir. And that is future. Mm-hmm. He knows already. And and uh, then he brought to me, uh, I want to read this right quick. Because he was talking to me. <laughs> I told my pastor that God has a word, but it seemed like it's so all for me. <laughs> but it's not. It's for each of us. And it's First Chronicles 14, 14 and 15. Therefore David inquired again of God, and God said unto him, Go not up after them, turn away from them, and come upon them over against the mulberry tree. It shall be, when thou hear the sound of going in the top of the mulberry tree. Can you picture that in your mind? Mm. A mulberry tree. Mm. It shall be when you hear, when thou shalt hear the sound going in the top of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt go out to them. For God is gone before forth before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. Mm-hmm. David did, therefore did as God commanded him, and they smote the Pharisees. But God is in everything. Yes, he is. Yes. And when you stop to see him in everything, like when he fed the mother to mm-hmm. five fishes. Five loaves, two fishes, five loaves of bread. Mm-hmm. Now, when he fed, he was there teaching them and giving them heavenly bread. Mm. But they had a physical need in a spiritual learning. All yeah. right now. They were getting the word of God. Mm. They were attentive to what. Jesus was speaking unto them to learn what to do. Uh-huh. But their physical body was the king with, with uh, hunger, famish. They were tired. They were worn. Jesus then had to ask his disciples this one question. What are we going to feed the people? <laughs> he already was doing what he set out to be done. He was feeding them spiritually. Catch it now. You're giving the word of God. You're feeding God's people. But are you looking at the compassionate side of the
the feeling of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. God will do it for you. Yes, you will. Hallelujah. Yes, he will come to you and he will ask you, when I get to this part, mm. God said, that's enough. Mm. Amen. Yeah. 